Hi guys, and welcome to Hello. the Bro Bryce Health Channel. Uh, mm -hmm. It has been a long, long time since I've done a Bro Bryce Health video. Ever since yep. the, uh, what was it, the unboxing of the bike? I think so. Anyway, I, think so. Uh, I was 262 pounds at, when I did that video. If you want to go replay that video, you'll find that up mm -hmm. there in the... The eye, the eye thing on the video. Anyway, <laughs> that that video, I was 262 pounds. It's kind of actually difficult to watch that now uh, because now I'm 200 pounds. And, um, and before that, uh, when I did the video f on my Bro Bryce Cooks channel of the, the waffle video, I was 272 pounds back then. And you guys may remember some old, old weigh-in, check-in videos that I did where I was 269 pounds and 250 pounds and up and down and up and down and up and down. Yep. And those of you that have followed on the Bro Bryce Health Facebook group that has actually been kind of active... Um, in there, I posted actually what I've been doing, which is ketogenic. And over the last uh, few years, I've been studying it and studying it and studying it and figuring out what I would have to do when I finally took the plunge. And then last June, the end of June, is when Julie and I both mutually took the plunge and actually officially started keto. And when we started doing ketogenic, we tracked every single thing. We started, you know, with my fitness pal, mm -hmm. keeping track of everything, which is a struggle to learn how to do that. But oh my goodness, if you can learn how to do it, it is very rewarding because for the most part, I, now I love riding that bike, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, with very little exercise, like I sit in front of the computer a lot and and she works in she works in an office. She's standing all day, and she's she's walking around all day. But but really, realistically speaking, we're not we're not doing cardio. We're not mm -hmm. doing weightlifting, mm -hmm. and um, and I've lost seventy two pounds, and Julie has lost fifty fifty something. Yeah, and fifty and four. Both sizes. Yeah. Uh, I went from being a size 44 waist to being a size 34 waist. Yep. And, and I was a 40, 42 waist, and I'm now down to 34, 32 waist. I'm wearing small and medium shirts instead of triple XL. <laughs> and it's, it's a trip, guys. Um, ketogenic has been so rewarding over the last year. And so... Um, to kind of celebrate that, uh, I wanted to do this this vlog here with Julie, and we're actually um, we just got done watching over the last couple of days uh, a documentary film mm -hmm. uh, done by BBC uh, mm -hmm. BBC Horizon, and the film is called Eat Fast and Live Longer, and I recommend it, and I would put that I'll put that up there in the thing. It's going to be in It'll one of these there. corners. It'll be there over somewhere. Here. It's, it's weird when you're doing a selfie vlog because it's the, <laughs> it's, it's over. I'm sure it's over there. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'll put a link to, uh, I'll put a link to that and I'll put a link in the description to it because it's worth a watch. And, yeah, and, sure. um, the, the guy goes through and he looks at several different kinds of eating approaches and the science behind them. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting. And Julie and I both decided that tomorrow yeah. will be the first time that we will try. Um, that we've done intermittent fasting before, mm -hmm. uh, where we've done we're we're already doing restricted calories, right. um, not not hardcore mm -hmm. extreme restricted calories. We're not feeling like we're starving. Calories. <laughs> Uh, you know, I just ate just a giant heap of food just now. Um, but we're still eating within a calorie deficit for mm -hmm. uh, what our base metabolic rate is. Mm -hmm. And um, 
And if you need help figuring that out, please talk about it in the comments below because mm -hmm. I, I would be absolutely happy to help you out with that. And be sure to join us on the Bro Bryce Health, uh, Bro Bryce Health dot info Facebook group. And uh, when, when you go there, you can ask any kind of questions. Um, and I also want to give a big shout out to the Keto Adaptation Group because that yeah. group there has been majorly useful. They've been very patient with some of my dumber questions. And um, But tomorrow we are starting uh, a type of intermittent fasting called 5-2. Mm -hmm. And that is five days of your regular way of eating. And uh, for us... We're comfortable with that being a mild calorie deficit. Mm -hmm. Five days of your regular way of eating and then two days of fasting. And for this fast, uh, we will eat one meal that is 25% of our regular daily intake of calories. Mm -hmm. um, meaning 25% of our normal day eating. So for me, I eat roughly... 1900 calories a day and that's my calorie deficit of uh, something like 20 percent and then uh and and i've lost all this weight eating that way and most of that is fat <laughs> just so you know if any of you don't know what keto is the typical numbers are something like five percent of your calories comes from carbohydrate, 20% mm -hmm. comes from protein, yep. and usually 75% comes from fat. That's typical, but you definitely want to personalize your numbers for your specific body needs. And, um, and in, in the comments or in the description down there, I would have put in the giant finger notes down below, I will put... Uh, links to where you guys can find some calculators to do your numbers with. Uh, but tomorrow we're doing the 5-2. Yep. So this, uh, you know, I'm fairly well fed and I've uh, drank a bunch of water today. And tomorrow is going to be a day of drinking water and tea yep. and no bulletproof coffee in the morning. Uh, sad face. And for me, I'm going to do best probably eating a big lunch like a 600 calorie you know, I don't know can't be 600 calories yeah that's a no it's gonna be more like for me it's gonna be more like 450 calories that'd be like 25 percent okay. it's 450 times two would be 900 times two would be 1800 so it'd be like five four 450, 475 calories. Okay. So that's going to be my caloric intake for the whole day. I'll take it in at lunch. And then she's going to do 25% of her normal daily intake, which is how many calories do you normally take in a day? 15 to 1,600. 15 to 1,600. And again, she's just doing like a 20% deficit. Okay. Um, it's actually not that hard. No. Not once you get fat adapted, and we're fat adapted, so that's what's yeah. really cool. Yeah, you don't crave sugars, you don't crave none of that no. stuff. It's really cool. Still love sweet stuff, but <laughs> you know we eat the good sweet stuff that's not triggering our insulin. Yeah. Anyway, this get this video is getting a little bit long, and I don't want to go on too long. But I just wanted to let you guys know that we haven't forgotten about you, and and uh, I really want to share my journey and hopefully Julie's journey uh, with you guys to encourage you. Yeah. She's a lot prettier than me. So maybe we'll get some more views on the videos. <laughs> That'd be cool. But you know, Hey, uh, I'm getting better looking, I think. So maybe, maybe anyway, <laughs> you guys have a great day and uh, I hope to see you very, very soon. I want to do some more videos talking about ketogenic. I want to talk about intermittent fasting I'd love to do some major rant videos about <laughs> mythology of nutrition that we've all been fed. So anyway, keep your eyes open. Subscribe wherever the, the <laughs> button thing is. Anyway, have a great day. 
and join us on the Facebook group. Bye. Bye.